consent, the bills will be read by title unless there is a request for reading a bill at length. Committee amendments will not be read unless requested as they are printed and in your like bill folders. Floor amendments will be shown on the screen in all your iPads and not read unless requested. Bills will be laid over upon the motion of the majority leader and the coat rule is relaxed. Why weren't you smiling? Yeah, just send that one to me. Mr. Randall, please read the title of House Bill 1022. House Bill 1022, Bureau of Senate Science and Craft Art, Bill Senator John Noble, concerning a crime with the Department of Revenue, issue request for information on electronic sales and use tech simplification system. The bill last June. Representative Craft Art. 16, 12, 16. I move uh, House Bill 18, 10, 22. There is no committee report. To the bill. What is it? 16? I think it was. I think. Representative. Thank you very much. Craft so Art. last year, this legislature uh, passed a bill that convenes an interim committee, the Sales and Use Tax Simplification Tax Force. Um, Colorado has one of the most convoluted, complicated tax systems in the country. There are approximately 572 700. 700, uh, tax sources. And so we hear regularly from businesses, both uh, here in Colorado, but also national businesses that come in here in Colorado to work with us, how convoluted, how difficult our taxing system is. So this last summer, the task force met. We met four times. Uh, we heard from people throughout uh, the country, um, and we had a lot of conversations around how we can um, be able to simplify our sales and use tax system. Um, this is the first step, and Representative Sias will explain what our first step is. Representative Sias. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And this bill is the, as Representative Kraft Tharp said, is the first phase in addressing what has been a huge problem for Colorado businesses and has increased costs for Colorado consumers. Uh, what this bill will do is create a RFI process under which the Department of Revenue will get together with stakeholders, most of whom have already been involved in the task force process, and come up with a request for uh, essentially a software solution to this problem. And we heard, in, we heard testimony this summer from several representatives from private industry who are already doing this in conjunction with other jurisdictions and their ability to create a software solution that allows us to balance the interests of business and being able to have a one-stop shop for submitting uh, and processing their, their sales and use tax, and also the interest of our home rule cities, the municipal league, and so forth with, with preserving their independence. And I would mention that this bill came out of the interim committee unanimously with the support of the home rule representatives, uh, CML and industry, and it also came out of the House Business Committee unanimously uh, because it really does reflect a great deal of, of hard work and compromise and a very solid first step forward. So I would ask very much for your all support. Come on, please, come on. And is there any further discussion on House Bill 1022? Seeing no further discussion, the question before us is the adoption of House Bill 1022. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it. House Bill 1022 is adopted.